Yo, Eric, we're over here on the paranormal hunt, and I headed over to this other building, and it's number 13. I was just telling my mind, my God. Today's kind of a different kind of a show. This is not a normal kind of show where we have planned videos, a technically a, a planned kind of a topic. This is a special like open the box type of show. Okay. You all, you probably read the, the, the title, how to use a ghost box to talk to spirits. People, what I got in here is a ghost box. That was made for me by Purgatory Place, Cynthia. Now, Cynthia, I took your. I wanted to show everybody your address, so they all send you postcards and stuff. But I took your. I took your uh, address off the box. But I, I knew you want me to keep the pass. You know, the password, your address, so everybody can send you a postcard. But guys, I got a box here from Purgatory Place, and um, I don't even know what it looks like. <laughs> I, I really, really don't. And before I open it up. Uh, I'm gonna uh, tell you guys, you know, one thing about this channel: we all want to be 100% truthful to everybody. That's that's the number one rule, gold rule, and everything. Gold I have never ever used a ghost box on any type of paranormal investigation. All my investigations have always just been me and a digital voice recorder and a camera and the ghost and the ghost. So I've never been the person that has all these equipments because if I always felt if you have so many equipment, then half the night you're putting up all your equipment and then actually doing an investigation. Second, I don't have all the equipment in the world that people have. Third, in the past, um, I don't know how you feel about uh, parent, uh, if you What do you feel about ghost boxes, Anthony? I've, I've actually honestly been skeptic a little bit on boxes because I want to know if how do you tell if you're getting a radio frequency versus a real voice from the spirit so I kind of stayed away from boxes you know but I have watched shows like Cynthia Pretty Place uh, Nicole's you know channel and you know they use ghost boxes it's got to a point where you know what maybe I need to open my own mind to certain equipment where I might be a little bit skeptic and say, what's wrong taking a chance and, and see, you know what I mean? Like, are they really picking up voices? Try it out. You know? So I'm not trying to be a skeptic on this, but I just have to be honest that that's the main reason. But they're intriguing. I watch Purgatory Pop. You guys don't know her channel, Purgatory Place, her channel. She does tons of investigation and she does tons of ghost boxes. And I trust her. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Because because the hardest thing, Anthony, is, is, is finding people that you feel that you could trust. Right. And once you feel that trust, you know they're just not going to uh, say something works just for the sake of clicks and views. Right. Otherwise, we all have a million views and clicks and and we'd be no better than David Wilcox and all those type of people out there. So I'm going to open this up for the first time. I don't even know what kind of batteries it takes. <laughs> oh, what is she right here? The, the theory is that entitles manipulate the voice being transmitted to send message. Okay. And, uh, you know, I've never done an open the box on air. So this is like, I feel like one of those channels. What's in the box? What's in the box? <laughs> it's those a lucky, pair of socks. Those, those, those lucky Hey, look. I think she even sent me batteries. Oh, that was cool. And we were, we were like, what is it going to take? 
Now, before I, I open it, let me just ask her one question. Uh, Cynthia, do you make these on your own for people? Like, can people go to your channel, Cynthia, and ask you and, and buy one from you? Like, do you make these for people in, in the public? Or is this just a one-off special for me? Okay. Whoa, this is... Oh, I get a free napkin. Ooh, oh, you gotta, you gotta love the free napkin. Oh, oh, another napkin, man! You get a lot of stuff. Oh wow! Uh, oh, that's cool. That is cool. And then, okay, so, so uh, I mean, let me uh, just pick a little higher. So this is the ghost. That's her symbol. Yeah, that's her symbol right I there. I like it. I like it a lot. Like yeah, lot. and um, now I got to figure out where to put the batteries. Oh, right here. Yeah, right there. So Is it double A. Yes, it's uh, you. You put in um, three batteries. That's what she sent here. So this is this is exciting. This is I have sold them. Yes, yes. She sold and, them and guys, on her show. Yeah, and um. She only charges a thousand dollars, so Damn. people get on it. Get on it. Thousand dollars a bargain. Over there. Thousand dollars. Maybe that. I, I'm gonna tell you something. When you buy, when you buy any equipment from a store, you get the cheapest crap batteries there is, right? You really, truly do. You you truly get the. She sends me. Door cell. <laughs> These nice. are good batteries. Nice. You know what I mean? You get that store brand battery or that box and it dies like, yeah, like in a day uh, or two. Like so she even sends something. good batteries. All right. Okay. So I put it in now. So I'm guessing this must go this way. So. Man, you can't beat that. Good batteries. Okay. Oh, I, I see the 12 o'clock on there. We have power. All right. So, I'm, like I said, I've never, ever used one of these before. So, so there's FM, AM, SW. I mean, do I put this does on S one of them? Does SW stand for Spirit World? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. He said read the letter. Uh, P Pony number 35. He sent you a letter in the box. Oh, she sent me a letter in the email? I would assume in the box. What do you mean? Your package. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I thought it was a receipt or something. <laughs> All right. She even sends a letter. Eric, you are the most trustful, most honest, best guy in the world. There is no channel no better than yours. My yeah. God, Cynthia, that, that is so That nice. letter is for me. You can read the other side. <laughs> Here's your new Radio Shack uh, 2125 Ghost Box. To get a scan, put the batteries in, unlock the bottom on the front, is is in the lock position. So, so put the batteries in, unlock the bottom on the front. So, Okay. On the front. Turn on power using the power button. All right. Where is that power button? It's the one that says power. <laughs> <laughs> Starts with, Starts with, <laughs> yeah, like, it's, it's right there. There's the power button. <laughs> okay. Is there... Oh. Let me see. On... Did you move the lock button, as she said, and, and underneath there? There's a button, lock button. Oh. Where, okay. where exactly is this lock button? Yeah. yeah. Uh, button, lock on button. The, on the front by all the other buttons. On the, on front, the front side slide. to unlock. On the front side. On the front, slide it down to unlock. So this is the front. On the on the side, look on the right and left side. This. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, yes, it does say 
DX lock right here. DX go. lock. Oh, but she wrote in the front. You, you got it. I got it. Okay. Oh, no, this one. This is a uh, lock uh, also. That uh, says lock, but right here also says LOC. So on the front, the one on the front. So so on the side, then on the side, this should it be on DX lock or sins. He yeah, did, I got it unlocked. He did the one on the front. He also touched the one on the side. Yeah. 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 So I got that. Put, back, the front. put it back on the side one where you had it, Eric. Okay. All right. This is so exciting. <laughs> yes, front. Okay. Turn it on. I can hear it. So it's on. Should it be scanning like. Ch -ch 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 -ch. I'm watching her in the, in the chat. So it's turned on. Okay. So. Does it. Does it scan? Yeah, does it scan? So does it supposed to scan or do I just start asking it questions? But I think it's supposed to scan, right? So let me see. If I move this again, read the letter. Turn it up. Turn the volume up. Okay. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna read the letter. Turn the power on, which I did, then push the button with the gym on it to scan the gym. The gym. So push the butt with the gym on it to scan. Release it once. Start scanning. But what's the gym button? Because look, so, so let me pull it up. I'm trying to find what's the gym button. Jam, maybe. J A M, maybe. G E M. Then push the with the gym on it. Push the butt with the gym. Let me see it. <laughs> she go right. Let me see it. <laughs> There's nothing there with those letters on them, all. Uh, see the little stone. Oh, 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 oh! There's a stone. She has a stone right there. Okay. Oh, with the gem. She with the gem. gem. Oh, there's a stone. So. Okay, see the little stone. Okay, so so now okay, so push the button with the gym on it to start scan. Do I? Oh, it's scanning. Okay, put the volume up so we can hear. Can you hear it? All right. So what questions should I ask? Okay. Is there anybody... Does it have to be on AM or FM? What's that? Does it have to be on AM or FM frequency? That's Probably a good question. Because right now, it's scanning through the frequency. Right now, it is on FM. That's a good question. Does it need to be on FM? Eric, you're here, Larry. This is my first time, Amber. I told you guys I never used a ghost box before. AM or FM frequency. Yeah, Amber Purgatory, whoever answers first, ask to say your name. But okay, before I ask the that? name, I like FM better. Okay, okay. so it is oh. on FM. Ask it your name. Or ask if it – okay, so ask if it's to say your name. Say my name. Market finished the sales report for her book. Great help her mom with her doctor's appointment. Get the car washed. Hit the gym, maybe, and get a scan again. There we go. What's my name? It stops on a channel. The buy one, get one for a dollar menu. Oh. Mix and match with your Something's not right. What's my name? That, Every that, time I hit the gym. That thing's supposed to be scanning a million miles per second, that thing. You're supposed yeah, to be like. Yeah, and, and it stops at the next, at the next one. So watch, I'll do it again. I'll hit the gym. 
So, so put a, put up the antenna for better reception. Of course, I did. Light, give it a light tap, the, the gym. Just a light tap. Is it scanning? It... What it does is it starts scanning, but when it gets a really good channel, it stops. So try it on AM then. Put up the antenna for better. Use FM for more frequent search. What is the brand model of the ghost box? Send me the uh, send the link to her so she can come on. She's actually driving right now. She's actually driving. Oh, scan. So, so. Yeah, but I am pressing scan. So it's unlocked. Okay. You know, getting all this music is probably going to get us copyrighted. I'm just waiting for them to shut us down. Yeah, let's see here. Actually, let me do this. I'm going to turn it off again. Let me just turn it off for a second. And start over. I'm going to start over. So... So I'm going to uh, turn this back on. So every time I press that gym, it, it stops on the next channel. I bet, I bet on the side of the radio, you got it on the wrong thing when you originally thought it was the lock button. Let me put it on the bottom. Let's see. It's going. Keeps going. That might be it. Oh, see, it stops at a radio station. Hmm. It stops. So, let me see what she says. So, uh, can this one run in reverse? I do not know what you're talking about. If it can run in reverse. I mean, I'm just looking at... Okay, hold on. There's, there's a high-low tone on the right side. Should that be on... Try that be on... Try Try AM, Eric. Okay, now it's on AM. Let's see. It's, it's not stopping. Ask it your name. Not stopping. So, what? what is my name? What? Just give it a minute. Okay. What is my name? <laughs> Laugh out loud. You can do it, Eric. I believe in you. No, uh, what's this here? No difference in reverse. If you hit any buttons while scanning, the scan will stop. Here. Some devices allow to scan in reverse so you won't hear sentences from the radio channels. Any word going through would have to be manipulated by spirit. There's no reverse chip. What? <laughs> no, no, Amber, no reverse chip. Okay. What? How about this? Is Anthony a handsome guy? Yes. Who didn't disappear in the past? Story streaming. Player in the world. By about as much as well. 1090. I think. I, I, you well, gotta have good ears, first of all. Even that, you know, with radio stations just coming in, you you know, anybody could say anything at any time on a radio station. I thought it was yeah. just a bit static, and then maybe a word would come out. That's how I thought it worked. I'm gonna go back to. I'm back on FM, but of course FM stops on an actual, uh, actual radio station. It doesn't keep going. I wonder 
if a if a radio station is too strong, Cynthia, well, should it pass it or does it usually stop on a on a um radio station? Because I hit the gym button, but it stops on a major radio station, it doesn't go forward, and I'm not pressing any other buttons. So is there like another something on here that I have it on the wrong setting to have it keep going? I I uh, I understand it doesn't have reverse on that device. I was explaining to Eric what it meant because he said he didn't know. Yeah, I didn't know. So I didn't I didn't know you could do something in reverse. That's interesting. So wow, you put a chip in a radio and it causes it to go to reverse. That's wow, that's interesting. I'll show you later on if you want to call me. Oh, you mean Mike does this? Long Island Bigfoot does this? I, I've done it too, but not like that. It was just like tss, 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 like all static was coming out of it nonstop. So I'm also going to put um, the uh, invite if somebody wants to um, come up here and teach Eric. <laughs> it can't. Okay. Oh, here we go. It can't stop. Put the antenna down. No, it's just, it's just an old radio hack. So sometimes they stop. Okay. 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 So I'll, I'll keep it down. That's good. That's good to know. Let's keep going. Okay. It's not stopping. It's on FM. What is my name? What is Cynthia's channel? Purgat or her channel is Purgatory Place. If somebody wants to put that in the chat for me, I appreciate it. The, the spirit box I have, I never use it. All I hear is commercials. <laughs> What's this? Better to hear ads than copyright tune, right? When doing live, I guess that's right, Hoxie. Don't get copyrighted. It's freaky's got a point there. Let me ask another question. So, so, um, is there anybody here with me? Is there a ghost? What's that? Is my house haunted? Oh. Is Anthony's house haunted? He's the guy in that little square right there next to me. Oh, right there. That there. That's Anthony. Is his house haunted? Yes. I was like, um, I heard yes. Oh. What's up, Mike? Hold up. So, Mike, so you said in the chat you have a, a, a P radio, a P what? The P87. It's so, like the uh, it's like the original one, basically. It's like the you know they they always come out with new models and this you know what I mean. But it's it's like a ba it's basic, but it's one of the uh, like that the one. Most, yeah, so, hang on. Yeah, hers is nice. Hers looks like the, the, it's nice. That's gonna work. Trust me. This is um. Fuck. Where is it? Oh, somebody said they. Heard That's the P eighty seven. Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that looks so, familiar. 
But if you just put that on uh, on FM or whatever, like, I don't know, like 91.2, it don't matter. Like, put it on somewhere where you're not getting, like, a radio station where it's, like, you know, like, constant music playing. This. You don't want to put on, like, your, you know, the... He's got the his hit music. His yeah, don't put it on, like, a hit music station. You know what I mean? Put it on one that's, like, a little... A little long well, kind, but it's on the scanning part where it scans through every single okay, channel. Okay, all right. So that's even that's even better, actually. So it, it takes time sometimes. Sometimes there's nothing going on. Oh, that's true. It's true. And where I live, I live next to the city of Seattle. So there's a lot of radio stations. So I'm sure that I get a lot of single in the air just from the radio stations and all that TV stations. Yeah. I wonder if it's better if I like I don't know like go out in the country more where maybe radio single is less. It, it's fun sometimes that doing that too. I've done that too where like there are barely any radio stations. So like when it ciphers through, like you're you're more apt to fe to feel like it's something you know manipulating it. You know what I mean? Like if I'm on Long Island and I'm just it's cycling through and it's saying a million words because you could go somewhere that has uh, like. For instance, Long Island, right, or New York City, or something. It, it's always gonna say something that 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 nonstop. That's what I'm saying, right? The, the one I'm used to is like, it's like constantly spitting out hiss, and then every now and then you'll answer, and then you know just spit out a word. Right, but it don't always work like that, right? Like that's Wrong that's what, ideally that's what you want to happen, yeah. So, like, like. like like how she does it, she said, you know, you turn it on, of course, and then you hit the. She, what she did is she put a gem, which I could have figured out. I didn't realize gem meant she put a gem on a button. So you press the button. And, like, and screw she, if it has a if it has a button to control the rate of the sweeps. Well, uh, Mike, on the side there is a section that says high, low, tone. Does it have to be on a certain one? Like, does it have to be on low? Versus high well, or tone. Well, like if you're in a high high frequency area, you might want it to sweep less. You know what I mean? Like or sweep more. Like it depending. So you might want to put if it has like a zero to twenty sweep. Like maybe you know it it depends. Like so, there's a little couple of little settings you might want to play with. But I don't know her exact model. I I have to learn. I'm the type that learns by like just messing with it. You know what I mean? Learn by default. Because right yep, now yep, it's scanning, exactly. it's scanning through every single channel as we speak. Is is I'm gonna ask the same question again. Is Anthony's house haunted? And then here's my next question, Mike. So when you ask it a question, is there uh, like a time limit that somebody should wait until they ask a next question? Or you know what I mean? Like, like, like if I ask a question, it doesn't answer it in a minute. Should, should somebody just move on to the next question? Because it, it, Or do you, you got to wait? Well, I mean, like if you're – you know, you're going to know if you have like a strong ass spirit because that thing is going to be like active. You know what I mean? I'm no ghost expert. Don't get me wrong. Like, I'm not an expert with spirits by any means, but I'd imagine if there was like a powerful spirit, like it would it would be like. What you know, yeah, like you would know it like it would be using it would be manipulating the shit out of that thing. So that's why it's good to also have other stuff out sometimes, too. Like people use a recorder and like sometimes people use a the REM pod or. You know, or light candles or have crystals out. Just other stuff that might, you know, intensify the scenario. And but, no, the no, but to answer your question, no, there is no, you know, there is no set, you know, like how long you should wait. It's really, you know, you're, you're doing the experiment. It's you. Like, you're doing it. Like, it's situational. That's my answer, anyway. I'd, I'd ask one of the other girls, though. They know better than yeah, I do. No, because it's 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 scanning. It's staying on there, so it's not stopping at a station now. So that part we we solved. Maybe move your mic next to it more, because it's we I I only hear it scanning like once in a blue. Okay. Uh, what what's a good average question? If you in your in your opinion, Mike, if you're gonna start this off, 
what is a good average question that you think you might get an answer back on? Uh, is anybody here with me? Uh, is, here? Uh, That's the basic one. Yeah, like, you know, basic, basic questions that might get, like, a variety of answers. Like, if you ask it for your name, like, it's going to take, you know, you might not get, you know, like a warm-up. Okay. Is there anybody here with us? Are you a man or woman? But this is a problem I, I can see where this, my opinion, uh, what seems like I would have to re-watch this because the words are coming out so fast. I don't have, my brain's not used to processing a word quickly like that. Yeah, you know well, I mean? you don't, you don't, you don't want to, you don't want to focus on like the, like, you want to focus on like, when it, when when they manipulate it, it's not gonna be that like that normal cycle through. It's gonna like jump up like in volume or like, you know, it's gonna be it, it'll be something that like grabs your attention, right? Because that's what they're all about. Like spirits are very like there's a lot of spirits out there, right? So how do they get how do they get noticed? How do they get seen? Like they do something that like stands out. You know what I mean? Oh, Half the time that's why they look scary or something. She does say it takes time to tune in your ear, which I can see that. Now you know what? This is a good. That's a good question to ask Juan. Juan, because I'm gonna. Tell, he asked me, I should see if I ask if, if my my uh, deceased brothers is here, and why that's not a bad question. Because Amber Paraworld is in the chat. She, with her ability, seen my brother standing next to me. Nice. And she described him. With certain things on his body that nobody knew about, like he had cancer, right. skin cancer in the head, but he had this dent. She caught that. Wow. Yeah, and, and nobody knew that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask that. I'm gonna ask that question, Juan. But thing is, my brother became my sister. So do I say my brother or my sister? <laughs> so I'm not trying to make light of it, but I'm having fun too. Is is my blood brother slash sister here with me? I thought I heard yes. Yep, yep, something. Yes. You guys heard something? I heard yes. Something, so I yep. Well, yeah, almost immediately. Yep. It was a little different than the rest. You see what I mean? It was like it was like yes. Yep. Then when it, okay, if it's him, it's, God, it's, like, it's like it's like what do I want to ask next? If it's my brother. Uh, you at peace? Oh, good, good question. Are you at peace? <laughs> Are you at peace? Yes. How are you not catching that? How are you? No, 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 no. I, I think I heard it too. And it, 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 I don't know if it's me. The way you said, yep, it kind of sounded like him. I, I know that's it's not what, crazy. That, that's they, what they, I heard the first time. I didn't, I didn't hear yes the first time either. I heard, yep. Yep. Yeah. 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 That's what it said. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Wow. Wow, God, this is, <laughs> this is, but but now we now we heard the yep and yes, but can, have anybody ever got like a, a a more of a deeper kind of a question answer where you know instead of the yep stuff, like um yeah we've had we've had it where they talk Latin and it's not like it's not programmed into the thing you know like Latin words are, well it was it was an app and we actually reached out to the this, people and this might be stupid to ask but. Should people ask like questions like, "Is there anything you want to tell me?" Something like that. You think 
That's I don't, think, I don't know if I can answer questions like that. That's a lot. No, that no, it's not a bad idea. I mean, because yeah. they're they're cycling through like this is the ability for them to like use words. You know what I mean? Like so, like that's why this is so beneficial is because it's cycling through thousands of words per second. So like they have the ability to like yeah, get, yeah, actually speak to you. Yeah. So whatever you want to know, there is no bad idea, bro. There is no bad idea, really. You know, just I don't. Well, I always this. say I always say be careful what you manifest, but that's about it. Is there anything you want to tell me? Is there anything you want to tell me? Is there anything you want to tell me? Now, hey, hey, Mike, is it kind of stupid where you're trying to see if, if you're getting something and you want to see if this is more of a like an intelligent type of ghost? Is it, is it stupid to ask, hey, what color is my hat? Just yeah, that's see. a great question, man. No, not at all. No. Okay. Not at all. What is the color of my hat? What is the color of my hat? Black. 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 You heard it? I heard it. You're not yeah. So mind you, it's gonna it's gonna have to find the word black in like a series of places so it might not always sound like him or sound like a you know a male voice or whatever it might just uh, be a little kid on a radio station black you know what i mean so i heard that shit man yeah so sometimes it sounds off brand but yeah i definitely heard black and then uh before that question they said they heard the thing said um sick when i asked you got something to tell me sick oh um, your family friend. Uh, right I know, the one I just told you right before the show started that majorly yeah. sick. That's, man, that's freaky. <laughs> wow. That is freaky. That's a... Uh... Tonight's New York lottery numbers while you're there. Now, mind you, like, I doubt it's going to happen in your house or whatever, but, like, if you're ever out and doing this and, like, you're asking innocent questions and shit, and then something comes through and it's just, like you know, demonic sounding and it's like, you know, it just, it's going off the wall. It's not answering what your question is. It's just saying like, die, kill, you know, like shit like that. Just turn that thing off and get the hell out of Dodge. You know what I mean? Like, but yeah, otherwise yeah. It's, it's, it's a fairly good tool. Like Let me 99. Show people, Cause this was, uh, this was made for me to do this from purgatory place. She made this for me. So cool. So, and, the, and that's her symbol right here. And what she did was, uh, uh, she she uh, put a gem right here, and that's the button to uh, she wrote, put a gem, and that's the button that makes it scan. What are all the numbers for? Just different stations, I I guess. Yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> yeah, there are a bunch of numbers, and of course, and of course on the side now now Mike on the side here it says. It says DX lock sins, and sometimes like, does that have to be on a certain setting? A DX lock and sins. I don't even know what that means. Oh, they're presets. Okay, different radio station presets. All right. Oh, right, right. That's smart. Um, uh, I don't know, bro. I don't know. It looks like I could plug in uh, uh, like a constant yeah. power if I don't want to use batteries. Yeah, it, it probably has a headphone jack too. It does, right here. It has a headphone jack. Yeah. It's so it's sometimes, so, sometimes that headphone jack you could you could get um, microphones too, like not, uh, but like they they make things louder too. You know what I mean? So it's uh, it's, a, it's a, that's that's really well done. She did great. Yeah, and you know what? Uh, for myself, I think I will have to. Use use more headphones versus most people because for myself, my hearing, you know, I, ha I lost low 
sound hearing. I don't have low. When the sound hits a certain uh, level low, I don't have it because of the ear issues I had as a kid. You know, like I said, I was I was seventy percent deaf as a kid. I had to get a surgery to get my hearing back, but because of it, I lost very very low hearing. So I'm probably going to need headphones because I am I'm I'm not, I'm not sure, but. Uh, I wonder if some of these answers do come in on a lower tone. And if that's the case, I wonder if I'm just losing, like, you know what I mean? Ask if it's a man or a woman. She wrote, when I get home, I would be happy to come on your show and use the radio. Yes, there is a headphone jack. Oh, yeah. Okay, let me turn this back on. I almost forgot how to turn it back on. I'm, I'm sorry. It's right here. <laughs> let me turn it back on and get the volume back up. And let me hit the scan button. And now it's scanning. So what question you want to ask, Anthony? If it's a man or a woman. Are you a man or a woman? Well, I swear I heard woman. Like a meeting. Can you repeat that, please? Are you a man or a woman? Woman. Oh, you heard it? I, I... Are you are you happy or sad? Okay. Ask if it's happy or sad. Hold on a second. Uh, I remember when you told your, your hearing issue as a kid, Eric. I think you know most of you and Bob's life story. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Listen, Juan, Juan knows the story. I was actually sent to... I was actually, guys, this is this is a true story. I was actually sent to a special school because the teachers didn't think I could listen to them or I wasn't, I wasn't, uh, yeah, and they didn't realize that I wasn't not listening. I could not, I couldn't hear them. So, so, and, 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 and Mike, when I got sent to a special school, now, first of all, let me tell you guys something. When you get sent to a school and you have to get there by another way of, of a vehicle kids make fun of you kids are harsh when they see you not taking the same bus as them oh my mm -hmm. god you can't believe the stuff that i heard when i was a kid mm -hmm. kids are assholes that's why I, I've, I've gotten uh i've learned to uh get uh i can take a lot of pounding because i'm used to it yeah but that's just, it's just like anything man that's what people do is they they team up on the what's different a minority they the easy targets that's like like thieves and robbers like and the mur they, muggers. Was, anthony the when have you ever seen them anybody if in the new york city in muggings right did you ever arrest somebody who mugged somebody they, they never mug the muscle bound guy right it's the little uh, lady right, the, right, the, right. you know what i mean they they hit easy targets because they are yeah. weak individuals themselves absolutely yeah let me correct this he said i thought you had a I technically had a learning disability from not from combination of a hearing. And then uh, I actually flew out of a car as a, as a baby hit a rock and stuff. So yes, Juan. So I actually had to learn to speak a certain better, uh, learn to speak better speech classes all through junior high. So yes, I had, I had some stuff that I had to go through. So it's, <laughs> But hey, whatever you go through makes you stronger at the end. That's all. That's all I can say. So let's see here. Me, ask, let me think of a a a, a good question. Like, um, no, you know, not like a religion question, but um, I I, I know. Let me see. I'm gonna ask another kind of a color question. What is the color of this cloth behind me? What is the color of this cloth?
Oh, Dr. Me crossing over. That's a damn good one. That's a damn good one. Uh, Purgatory Place, I'm having fun with this. I, I'm, I'm, I'm that like thing just said green, clear as day. While you were talking, that thing said green, just like that. Green, clear as day, man. And this is a green screen, so... It sounded like they were talking to each other at first. It sounded like they wanted to answer a question, like, what? Like, or something like, and the other one was like, no, green. Like, it was so funny. Like, clear as day in a deep voice. Oh, oh so... I'm just asking so I know you're there. Do you need help crossing over? <laughs> Do you need help crossing over? Crossing over. I wonder if that's too difficult of a question. Uh, Ask it if, if it's a child or an adult. Are you a child or an adult? Are you a child or an adult? Right, you gotta start training your ears trying to, to hear that. So one person they said they heard an adult. Um uh, I wonder that see, I'm always wondering, like, like they're, they're, I'm not saying it's a stupid question, but like what is like his name or your name? I can't see even ghosts, even though somebody else's name, unless it's probably it is easier to ask them what's their name. So let me ask that again. Let me ask that one more time. Their name. What is your name? What is your name? Mike. Mike. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, look. John earlier said, I don't know if Mike meant you, but. So what I was going to say is, right? So. Oh, you my God. He said Mike. Yeah. You'd wonder how you'd wonder how they know your name. But Hold on. You, you have spirits around you. And so when these spirits are contacting, like, they they can, you know what I mean? They can kind of interact and get info of you. You always have people with you, whether you know it or not. There's always people with you. But, but, let me tell you why that's important, that it said Mike. What we heard earlier, we're thinking that my brother is here because somebody asked that question and said yes. Uh -huh. Does anybody in the chat knows what my brother's name is? Don't tell me it's Mike. It's Michael. No way. Mike, Michael. Now, now he changed his name when he became a woman, but he was born Michael. Michael. Mm -hmm. He changed it to Michelle because that would be close. No, uh, <laughs> it don't matter. No, it's still his name. It's his That's name. Good. I mean, I, I, I always hated the name he changed it because I couldn't really say it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I always called it Mike because I could never say it. he took a name of a great grandmother and I just could not say that word. So I always called him Mike and he hated it. <laughs> Ask the thing to give us a sign of its presence. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> He's having so much fun. I love it. <laughs> oh, oh, I got to turn the volume back up. Okay. That would help. So you want me to ask, like, give us a sign that he's there? Okay. Oh, time out. Don't do nothing yet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna record on my end, and let's see if we can get it to open up this door again. So hold on. All right, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm recording video on my end. Ask it to open my studio door.
Can you open Anthony's door? Can you open Anthony's door? Okay, if you can't open Anthony's door, can you make this head move? Yes. It can say yes. Yeah. Left. Can you make this head move? Oh, you guys can't see it. It's actually moving a little bit more. Are you you can't see it's green screen. God damn it. It's... Can you make it move again? They can't they can't see. Or oh, maybe I'll do this. Maybe you can see if it moves more. Can you make the head move again? It's shaking. But God, the green screen. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is gonna be this is gonna be so fun. It's gonna be fun. But, you know you do you do a stream you do a stream like just sitting by candlelight with you know what I mean? Well this Lights was out. actually it was so special because like I said per Purgatory Place, Cynthia made this for me and you know <laughs> and, and this is my birthday present that I bought. It did it, it did it fucking door it open. No, show. no, no, no. Did it really? I, I'm, sending, I'm sending it right now to the computer. I, I ain't seen him be that excited in a while, so I know it moved. My <laughs> fucking my fucking booming. Wait a minute. I know it moved just off your reaction. I know he's not fucking around. Oh, shit. Sorry. Oh. I forgot I got to watch my mouth on the channel. Oh, it's in oh, <laughs> Come on, this is my channel. Look. What? It's open. Oh, snap. This is awesome. Oh, that's wild, bro. That is it wild. Is, it, is, but why it, it, it takes is a lot true? of force. It takes a it lot of force for them to do that. Take it to a hotel room. You get more activity. Really? At a hotel room? Sure. Of course. You know why? Because... You got you got to figure there's a lot of stuff has happened there. You know what I mean? So when you're, you know, when you're the one that's kind of drawing in their attention, like you have a lot of attention from a lot of different deceased people or, you know, unfinished business, et cetera. You know, depending on what's gone down. Well, it could be hey, Mike, since I got you here, let me ask you this. Since I got you here and, and, and you know, we'll play with this later on on another show. What made you do the radio was there something that kind of you wanted to play like i did or there you were you got a radio because you wanted to just be an investigator yourself no you know like somebody like had help had had been sending me like you know gear and like paranormal stuff and so i, I you know i was like i wasn't really like a gear person right but like uh, as far as technology and stuff but i wanted to give it a chance so i did I, I gave everything a fighting chance and i experimented you know i didn't want to i didn't want to limit myself you know and plus it's very it's very good for the audience right i can go out and say hey i feel this energy but uh you know for the people who know me they, they might trust that but they might be 50 percent or 90 percent of people who are just like well, what the hell like doesn't do us any good. So if I pull out a multimeter and just, you know, all of a sudden check it and all of a sudden that thing's spiking like crazy, that's good for the viewer, right? 
So same concept, like if I get like some kind of activity and I hear something or I think something's happening and then I pull out a spirit box and then it, something happens, you know, from a from a being that could manipulate tech or a past spirit or whatever, it, it's good for the people, you know? Yeah. So this, we, more, more or less, I did it for the viewers. We got to get you out here, Mike, with, with Foxy and friends uh, to do this investigation in my house, man. Yeah. Yeah, I'm down, bro. I mean, I can come whenever. It don't matter to me. Well, Mike lives around the block from me, the other Mike, so whenever. All right. Well, I mean, tomorrow I got I got something early. I could I could probably do the night after. Or whatever. Or the weekend. It don't, whatever works for you. I don't care. What's that? Tuesday. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I could probably do... Oh, I have a show. We could do yeah, I, could do, I could do tomorrow night, actually. I don't care. All right, tomorrow night. We got to find out what's going on. You know, All right. you know, it's sad. Not well, sad for me. We, my wife and I were talking because we heard like some, like some terrible news, you know. And I said, you know, it sucks. I'm not trying to be greedy or not, but I was like, I said, it sucks because he's the only friend I have in the state because all the other cool people are all living on the East Coast. <laughs> so <laughs> that's like, not true. It, it's the grass is greener on the other side situation, right? That's what it is. Like I, you know, I would trust me. I would give up being around people on the East Coast for the West Coast woods in a second. <laughs> come, come by me oh. for a couple of days, Eric. You come stay by me. I got a huge yeah. Family. If you come out this way, we'll push. You know, we'll help you out with the because hey, room, yeah. room and board, room and board in, in in New York is a shit show. You can stay at my house. You'll have. I'll give you your own room. Well, I ain't got. I ain't got that much. I got. I got like a corner. Shoot. <laughs> you put you in a dog crate. Yeah. Put you in a freaking bathroom. I want to um put it in the bathroom. Yeah, I, I, I want to show. I, I was gonna show you some. Uh, I went. I went somewhere this weekend, Mike. It's a beautiful place, and I realized most of my film film footage is in my phone. I guess I left my phone in the car, but I forgot that I sent um. One of the things to Anthony when I was at this place, these this is this this is the falls. This is only oh, this man. is only uh thirty minutes away from me, and and this this place is just beautiful. Yeah, that's a big one. Yeah, they nice. use it to help generate power. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm gonna make that a short that that thing you sent me. That's a great fucking video you sent. Oh, and I got I got a, I got some more like, like but it's on my phone. I guess I left it in the car, but it's a it's a very gorgeous place. Like gorgeous, what is gorgeous. That exactly? Anywhere with waterfalls is good because Look like the fact that they're using it for humans are using it for energy, but so is everything else, right? You know and, all these energy. And the story goes that people have seen some paranormal activity and some people say they believe it's because they use that waterfall to generate power and the know. paranormal activity is using the power from the waterfall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sure. And, yeah, and it's also the best wanted, you know, there is. And another point I was trying to make I was because I'm putting it like a little docu myself with all this kind of footage I've been taking over because every Sunday I'm going to a new place now. I'm going to a nice. new place. When nice. people say that why can't Bigfoot be spotted. And I'm like, well, first of all, just look at this picture. Look at all those trees. You can they could be thousands of people walking through those trees and you'll never know. Oh yeah. No, I you know, I actually I'm glad you brought that up. Uh I want to show you guys something. So uh not too long ago, I was at my parents' house. You know, I go there to film a lot and hang out with my nieces and nephews. And I was I was just playing with my regular Nikon camera. Just, you know, I had this, my son was using a Cyanus, but I'm just taking pictures of the sky and, and shit like that. And I actually, all these like orbs start to appear. Right. And then I, I, I put it on Facebook today for those of you uh, that are, have probably already seen it, but I actually captured a craft sitting, sitting above the pine trees that you you just see clear as day, just sitting there, man. So check this out. So so there's all the orbs, okay? So this is a clear night, you know? All these orbs start appearing, okay? Then those three dots in the center of the circle appear, like triangular formation. Then 
right there. You see the object above the middle pine tree? Yeah. And then I'll circle it for you. Yeah. There it is, but that's not that good. There it is. The, no, next one, sorry. Right there. Can you see it inside the yep. circle? Yep. So that thing is just sitting on top of the trees, like clear as day. It has a shadow below it too. You can see yeah, it's right? different than it's different than the night sky. Right. So I thought that was pretty cool that that thing was just sitting there, man. So that's like a bona fide object captured on multiple shots, like succession shots. So I thought that was pretty cool. That is cool. Man, this is this is fun getting new equipment. I saw you know now when I go when I go back to the uh, cemetery place that that I haven't actually put out the first investigation out on YouTube because I was finishing up the cartoon. So sometime Tuesday, I'm probably going to be showing the, uh, per the, the investigation that I did at, at a black diamond cemetery. That's supposed to be the most haunted cemetery in Washington. But when I go back at night, I'm, I'm also going to bring this along and to oh, see, yeah. you know what I mean? So it's kind of, it's kind of a, Cool thing to now. Now when I go back, I'm not gonna tell people if I found something or not. It also gives me an extra like, hey, maybe if I don't catch something on this, I catch something on that. Because right now what I was using was an EMP, because I bought myself an EMP, and of course a digital. My next one I want to buy is um, I want to get that thermal. And I saw the one you're talking about, Anthony, that you could connect it to your iPhone. It's like two hundred or two hundred forty nine dollars. Yeah. I got it right here. I was, I was pricing. Go, go to the FLIR website. Don't buy it anywhere else. It's 200 on the FLIR website. That's what I got, a FLIR. Yeah, I bought it from FLIR, and it's 200 Yeah, FLIR, from FLIR. If you, if you buy it on, like, Amazon or anywhere else, they, you oh, know, they mark it, it up. I bought it from Amazon, but, you know, FLIR camera. FLIR, yeah. So yeah. two hundred on the website, okay? Because Amazon wanted two forty nine. Right, they mark it up a little bit, which normally yeah. it's not. It's uh, not, it more, normally it's the opposite. You can find stuff a little cheaper if you go away from the re regular site, but you know it's uh, it, that's one occasion where it's it works out to go right through them. That's awesome. So I know tomorrow's tomorrow. Um, Anthony's gonna have a kick ass show because oh, it can't. is about one of my favorite subjects. The dog man. Can't wait for tomorrow, dude. Where is it? Because I have a, I have my own, not my own theory, but my theory of what the dog man is. I can't wait to say what my theory is. What it is, you know. So if and and again tomorrow, if anyone uh, has had a dog man experience that uh, wants to hop on after I tell the the story that I'm gonna tell uh, somebody else's story, I never seen one of these things before, but. If anybody had an experience with this tomorrow and would like to hop on, uh, by all means, uh, let me know. We'll drop a link in the chat, and then you can hop on and tell yours. My favorite dog man story is Tex. Tex yep. got a really good dog man story, man. That was a that was a great interview. Yeah, that's one of my favorite interviews. Matter of fact, maybe tomorrow, Eric, we can we could play a little bit of that. Yeah, we'll find like I, it's hard to say what's the best cuts because the whole thing was good. I'll look but... tonight. Cause that's a that's just a dynamite story, man. It is, and 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 you got and and it wasn't just one. Apparently, the, he's, there was two of them out there. Yeah, he, he just and you know what? Uh, I was actually surprised. It's a very hot topic right now. The dog man. A lot it's of ridiculous. yeah, it's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, you know. I, awesome is what it is i mean if if something like that really is out there right and people are really seeing that thing what the hell is it was it like uh was it like something that the government made and got loose so remember out here on montauk that thing washed up on the shore yeah. a couple of years ago yeah, yeah people like, are saying yeah. like a bird like a dog or whatever so the montauk monster montauk monster yeah. they said yeah. people tried telling me recently it was a raccoon i said geez it's no great you just bite into any the, the same way people bought into the original thing that it was a monster. They bought into this what they sold them after. Like I can't. It's mind blowing. No, way. no, no way. way it's a raccoon. I know it. I know it yeah. is. Yeah. I don't get it. That's gonna, don't be fun. that's gonna be fun tossing around other people's opinions of their theory on what is the dog man. 
So well, you got it. So, well, guys, I, uh, oh, everybody in chat, I hope you guys enjoyed this little recession. You know, I know some people don't like hearing static on a show, but some of you did. I hope you enjoyed it. And I think we, I'm going to, I'm actually, this is one of the rare shows that I get to have fun and go back and listen to it again and put on headphones and maybe like, maybe, maybe shorten the video, cut it down to the times that, Anthony, you heard something and your door, like, recut the video. I think that'll be fun to get to the hot points of it. Yeah, yesterday, something's going on here. So Mike, Long Island Bigfoot, and Mike, Foxy, and friends, they're going to come down. Mike's got, like, a REM pod. I got FLIR and night vision and all that shit. We're going to mm-hmm. set up and we're going to see what we could get. That would, that's yeah, gonna- I'll, br- I'll bring my FLIR and my night vision and stuff, too, if you want. Yeah, yeah, that's going to be interesting. And then after we screw around in here, we'll go hit the beach and see what we catch. Bring your psionics, too, when you come. Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant, yeah. Yeah, that And be one good last one. thing. If anybody's going to buy themselves equipment, check your check your uh, your uh your friends. Check with your com- community to see if somebody community makes these and sell them. Because, like I said, she makes them. So if, somebody, gonna, if I can buy this from a friend that her. I trust, yeah. you know, you know, like I, I said, check your community. Her. It might be, or like I said, Mike yeah. might know somebody who yeah. makes a certain something. It's good to it's how it's good to support the community that way. Did you yeah. guys see who Jim Goodall was with yesterday? Your, your boy, Eric Bob Lazar. Oh, <laughs> oh no. I, I'm sorry. I still I don't, I don't believe anything that comes out of that guy's mouth. But I don't know, man. The guy's he's a bona fide scientist. So I don't know why. Uh, you know. He never made any legit money off this, so you know, other people made money off his story, but I don't know why would why would you do that and take that much criticism all these it's, years it's, and for what? But I guess that's another story. People. Yeah. <laughs> Beyond that, I want to thank everybody, Mike Dickey, for helping out, jumping on here, and uh, we'll see everybody over on Anthony's channel, Undefined SMR, talking about the Dog Man. Manana.